Hi, I'm Teresa with Inflectra. I'll be providing a series of short videos to help you get started using Spira. This includes all the additions of the product, Spira Test, Spira Team, and Spira Plan. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to update your user profile. So let's get started. Okay, let's take a look at how we can make some updates to our user profile. First, we'll access this menu in the top right, and then we'll click on our user profile here. On this My Profile page, you may want to make password changes, especially if the system administrator assigned a default one like Please Change. You can do that in the Account Security area here, entering your current password, and then choosing a new password uh, to submit and confirm. If you're an existing user of Spira, your system administrator may have specific password requirements. For the trial, our only requirement is that the password must be a minimum of six characters in length. Down below, you can also make updates to your password question and answer. Once you've entered new uh, account security information, make sure to click the Save button. Spyro will let you know that your preferences have been saved with this pop-up uh, tip here. Another option is to upload a user avatar. The avatar image needs to be quite small, 100K in size, and no, longer than, no, no larger than 100 in, by 100 pixels. I do have an image uh, that meets those requirements, so I'm gonna click the plus button here. Click on that avatar in image. And now I'm gonna hit save. My browser now wants uh, me to clear the cache so that I can see that new avatar. So let's take a moment to do that. Okay, now you can see that my avatar has loaded. Other changes that you can make on this screen are updates to your name. You may add a department or organization. Here you can enable RSS functionality inside SpirePlan, which is useful for getting RS feeds when certain items update or new items are created inside the application. It also is good for connecting to our API. It's enabled currently, I'm gonna leave that as is. Here you can select your start page. Right now, I've chosen the My page, which gives me everything that's assigned to me as the end user. However, we do have options for the last open product, showing you the product homepage or the program homepage. So program managers or product managers may wanna take advantage of those options. I'm gonna leave mine at the My page setting for now. Down below, we've discussed account security. You can make updates to your email here. And then you have an option to uh, adjust some regional settings. Here you can se select your user culture. The culture setting will change the language if we have it available. Not all of these languages are available, but we do support 10 languages currently. The culture will also update the time and uh, date format appropriate for that selection as well. You can also make updates to your user time zone here. So that's how we can make uh, changes to our user profile. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and log out. Thanks so much for watching this Spira user management video today. We have more Spira explainer videos for you to explore on this channel. Check them out now.